Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education. I am your narrator, Frank Avella. In this presentation, we'll take a look at some excellent modifications and accommodations for teaching mathematics to special education students. First up is the increased spacing between questions. Placing the questions and answers so close to each other may cause the student to misread or, or mismatch the question and answers. This happens a lot more than you think. Next, provide these special needs students access to a calculator during tests and classwork. Students with dyscalculia have poor math computation skills and cannot recall math facts. These calculators provide support to this challenge. Another modification is to reduce the amount of answer choices, say for multiple choice questions on tests. If the general examination has five choices, A through E, maybe for the special ed test, it's A through D. For exams, post a formula sheet at the top of the test for the special needs students. The quadratic formula, for example, or maybe the sum and difference of perfect cubes. The next modification here I feel is one of the best that a math teacher can utilize, which is to allow students to make corrections to wrong answers on tests. As a teacher, our ultimate goal is to get students to learn anyways. So if they want to try again, let them try again. It's a, it's a growth mindset. A very popular accommodation is to provide additional time on testing. Based on educational evaluation and psychological evaluations, we know that some students just don't process as fast as others. They struggle with math fluency. They just need a little bit more time. Math number lines are a useful accommodation, specifically for special needs students in middle school. Uh, students uh, fall back on the number line to help them recognize positive and negative numbers and in determining which numbers are larger or smaller. Study guides are very beneficial. Many students don't know where and when to begin studying. I recommend study guides for all students, not just special education. Offer preferential seating to these students. Sit them in front of the classroom so that you, the teacher, can see when they need help. You can keep an eye on them. The scaffolding of an assignment, as I alluded to earlier, is a way to help struggling students through the zone of proximal development. A scaffolding is just little supports to help get the student through. Scaffolding could be something as easy as a little hint on a test here or there. A graph paper is very helpful when students are learning to plot points, graph lines, or construct geometric figures. Plotting points without graph paper leads to misalignments. Graph paper is an excellent accommodation. For students with severe specific learning disabilities in math, teachers may have to offer alternative assessments. For example, if a student continues to fail typical math exams, consider using a portfolio assessment or allow students to do a poster presentation as an alternative. A great accommodation is to provide a copy of the class notes to all special needs students. Again, many students have delays in processing information. It's difficult for them to take notes and learn material at the same time. In the younger grades, most math teachers know the importance of math manipulatives. Special needs students have trouble connecting from the concrete to the abstract in math. Manipulatives are an excellent option. Also consider having the students make a pictorial representation. Highlight keywords on worksheets and assessments. Many times students do not read the directions or they just skim through and miss important information. Anything that is particularly important to the information at hand could be underlined as an accommodation. Open notebook exams are a way to grant additional access to the content by allowing students to view their notes during tests. Even with open notebook exams, students will struggle if they do not have a full understanding of how to apply the concepts. Some students, for a number of different reasons, may be so far behind in math class that modifying the grading is, is the only chance for the student to be successful. Lastly, as a way to help students use formulas, understand concepts, and solve problems, Give special needs students checklists with the steps on how to complete certain math problems. This is a breaking down of the information. You can check the description below for some uh, math teaching resources. I also want to say thank you for your time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please like and share this video if you can.